What's up everybody? This is Flash001 USA and it's June 29th, 2013. It's about 6 p.m. here. Now what I would like to share with you today is a small wood gasifier tool project that I built. And what you're looking at is a small manually ran wood chipper. Now you couldn't use this to get off grid with, but for an emergency situation it's perfect. And for about 45 minutes cutting time, you're going to get about 3 to 4 hours of wood gas time on a small gasifier. That's not too bad, especially for a 1 to 2 kilowatt generator. And before I show it to you, I'm going to show you some of the wood that I've cut with it already. And then I'm going to let you see this thing up front and close for some of you guys that may be interested in building something like this for yourself. Now I've got mine set up to cut in 3 quarter inch lengths, but it'll actually set up to cut from 2 inches in length down to a half inch length. That's not bad. Okay, let's let you look at it here. It's a small sawhorse that I put together. And I got a 2x4 or a piece of 2x4 mounted on it right here. That'll accept three U-bolts. And you guessed it. What I've got here is a tree branch trimmer mounted to it, okay? And it's a pretty heavy duty one. It'll handle branches up to 2 inches in diameter. So it's actually perfect for this. Plus it's geared so you get more torque on it. And it makes it so much easier to cut too works really good. I can tell you right now, I'm going to demonstrate it for you here in a minute too. I've also got another thing set up in this guy right here. I've got a plate that I can move back and forth and this determines the length of the wood that falls down through here. So I can cut down anything as small as a half inch in length to two inches in length just by adjusting this guy and, and bringing him in and out. So like I said, for an emergency situation, you can't beat it because it doesn't require gasoline nor electricity. It just requires the power of your hands and the way they've geared this thing up, even a small person can cut large wood with it and do it in a very timely manner. What I want to do is I'm going to demonstrate this for you because I'm kind of proud of this. I felt that it works really good. And for those of you that have messed with gasifiers, half the battle is not only building the gasifier, but having the proper size of fuel for your gasifier once you figure out what it takes. For mine, it just happens to be three quarters of an inch, or I could even run down to a half an inch. But, you know, either way, I've got something now I can get a you know, consistent fuel with it. So I'm gonna zoom in so you can see the cutting head on this thing. I'm gonna show you just how fast this thing works. Okay. When I'm cutting small stuff, I can actually bundle a handful together like this, like three and even four pieces together. Okay, and I want you to see how fast this cuts. That's not bad. Okay, also, let me get a piece of this heavy stuff here. This is one inch stuff. Let me get cut into it here, get off this rotten piece. That's not rotten, that's actually just completely dried out wood. Those blades will stay sharp for a long, long time, as long as you don't cut into a nail or anything with them. So, you know, if you decide to build something like this, you'll have something that can be used in an emergency situation. And once again, I just wanted to show everybody this. They say a picture's worth a thousand words. A video should be worth a lot more. But it's straightforward and simple, guys, and it actually works. And you see how fast I cut with it? I can fill that bucket up pretty quickly. The nice thing about it is, is to realize I can pick up sticks out of the woods like this and turn them into fuel. Now, before I turn the camera off here, I am going to mention a couple things. I'm on the downhill side of uh, doing gasifier videos. I'm fixing to mount this guy up on a trailer and everything. And I'm going to do one more, what I call fuel test, which is going to be with this stuff right here. I've already done one off camera, so I'm going to do another one for the YouTube video. And um, I want to do another gasifier run with this using natural wood, which what I call natural is basically sticks or unprocessed wood. And that'll be the last, pretty much the last video I do as far as gasifier videos go. And I'm going to do a follow-up video of, of me having this guy mounted up on the trailer, okay? And the last video that I do on the gasifier will be a how-to as far as how I built this one. So on that note there, I'm going to turn back around and shut the camera down. I want you guys to have a good evening. If you've got any questions, as always, feel free to leave something in the blog or shoot me a message. Flash001USA, you guys have a good day. Bye-bye.